All right, everybody, we're back for more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. It's the final day. Will Powers be found guilty or not guilty? Court is now in session. I'm pretty sure it's not guilty. So I think that lady did it. Beanie! She did it. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Nope. I got nothing. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Just like in all the other TV shows and court movies. We just kind of wing it. <laughs> Call on people because... People present in the studio to each other. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. All right, then. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. I would be too, honestly. But, you know, you may call your first witness. Prosecution calls Miss D. Vac <sighs> I, how do you say her name? Seriously. I can't read. I'm an American. I can't read. I can't read shit. I do like her, though. I don't know why. There's something about her that I like. Dee Dee. I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. Or was she? As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must... Punt if you must know. Pontificate. Yes, I did it. Do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Very well, Miss Bakay. I'm just going to say Bakay, because that sounds right. It's probably not. And I'll get comments like, Jay's April. You're so dumb. Right. She's guilty. I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. It's terrible. The day of the murder. <laughs> I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at noon sharp. It ended at four. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammers' body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Mmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you to the van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I had him, had him take me in that. Thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling over. Then how did the van? How did the van get past the monkey's head? Hmm. Tell me. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so enthused right now. Okay. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Okay. Ended at four. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. It, I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took him. Go back, go back, go back. Um. Hold it. Hold on. Yeah, it's I'll take you. What does that mean? It means what I just said. That Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Alright. No, 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 no. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm not going to present anything. I'm just kind of going over the evidence that I have. Okay, the van. Huh, okay. What did, lady? What were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. 
Yeah, Mr. Right, you just did it too. Oops. Ha! <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Okay. She ate T-bone steaks on the table in the front in front of the trailer. Okay. Oh wait. <clears throat> Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. No, I mean someone else. One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak. Will Nick find anything? Kinda wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction, contradiction in what she said somewhere. Um... I'm gonna look at that plate of steak. Found in the plate in the employee area. Okay. Oh, that's right, because that was um, Will Powers' plate. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Manila used salmonella. <laughs> Gee. Drive Fakay to Studio One after the meeting in the trailer. Then walk the path between two fourteen and four PM. Um right. anything like it's on the tip of my tongue I almost want to present the plate but that was Will Powers's plate filled with sleeping pills uh -hmm. I'm going to take a risk because I don't see anything else that I can present aside from the steak plate uh, and that one. Objection! Huh! As I thought. What? <laughs> yes. What? You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. Yes! It is a plate. Indeed. It is a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vaquet and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. And there was nothing! There were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. They had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh, I love that look. Uh. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave a bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat. You ate a boneless steak. You didn't eat the steak. Don't say that to me. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. Don't. Don't I missed. And what was Miss Bake doing during the break? Hmm. Is it obvious, Your Honor? Picking on Savannah. Oh, poor Sal. She met the Steel Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. I want her dress! Ugh! Are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. That's right, she meets with him all badass in that very long... I don't even know what it's called, the long cigarette. Kinda like Cruella de Vil. As Miss Vakay left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the steel samurai. And then you did it! 
You killed him with your own hands. Order! Order! Isn't that a little presumptuous? No. You be quiet, Edgeworth. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits. <laughs> oh no, no! But clearly it's not in the cup in front of me, and clearly it's not in the cup in front of you. Never mess with a Sicilian when death is on the line! <laughs> Thud. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I don't know. Well, obviously, like, she couldn't. Like, she would be all kind of awkward with it. I don't know. I think it's possible, but... Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that weapon. Pretty much anyone could. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. No, they just planted it there, probably. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Um... Let's see. By a spear, that's true, but what spear? See, I'm, I'm telling you, man, it was that little fence on that little flower garden. Jeez. But can you even see it in the picture? Oh, snap. But that won't help. I'll just be like, oh, look at this picture five years ago. It has to be the same thing. Hooray. Hmm. Since this was mended with duct tape. Yeah, because wasn't it broken during the rehearsal? I think so. Of course, you know, it's been like a month since <laughs> I did that part of the game. No, not even a month. Like a month and a half ago. Goodness. Um, that's one. Dark, dark. I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. There's no blood on it. This is the murder weapon. Not so fast, Edgeworth. Edgy boy. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through? Yeah. Someone fixed it. It was a security. Yeah, so like, if she had it, how could have this spear been the murder weapon? Mm hmm? Tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order! Order! Shut up, Judge. What are you driving at? Think about what your... Silence! I kill you! I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Yep, you just go to your corner, Edgeworth. Sorry about that. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. 
How was Hammer killed? I can tell you, maybe. I, s I really do think it was the same thing as what happened five years ago. I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the murder weapon was? Afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded. Nope. You jerk. It was this. Look at the, this photo. What is this? A center for ants? How can you expect the children to learn how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth. Itchy boy. You still can't see it. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? <gasps> what? What? Are you saying? Yeah, I am. What happened five years ago? Also happened the other day. It has happened again. She's like, how did you even... 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. This day Vake meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. But she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs and onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Oh, I love that look. It's like, hoo <laughs> hoo in other words, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Exactly. And my foot is falling asleep, dang it. Actually, both feet are. Oh, no, boy, no. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true. Mr. Wright. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. If the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. And you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break. How could I have disposed of the body? The van! If only you guys could see the look on my face. Oh my gosh. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death and carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. What was Mr. Wright? How could she have dealt with the body? Let's see. I bet she could move it, but she had another way of doing it. The bit! I'm pretty sure. Well, she had another way to carry the body, other than her with her own hands. For instance, actually for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for, her, for you to carry that body. Gah! Interesting. Let's hear it then, Mr. Wright. Please show us how she carried the body. Uh, let's see, uh, she had the fan. Who keeps texting me?
was I? Oh yes, the van. You carried the body to Studio One. And you used a studio van to do it. Shame on you! Recall your testimony. Uh, how far are we actually? Oh crap. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else had got there, you put the body into the magistrate office. Oh, he's talented. A little disturbing. Hold on, right. Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. The accomplice! Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella, uh, I don't think he was. I just think he was told what to do since she's so... What is it? The ball and chain? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, he was, but I don't think he would want to do something like that. I think she forced him to, but... Sal Manella has to be a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into costume. There's no way Miss Fake could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Miss Fake, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? I do? Um. Um. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um... <laughs> <laughs>